Again tonight with that close call caught on camera, Iowa State troopers are glad no one was seriously hurt. I'm Alexandra Stone. Thanks for joining us. Extremely dangerous conditions over the weekend led to this incredible crash on Interstate 80 in Iowa. KETV News Watch 7's Jose Zosaya is live in Council Bluffs with troopers reaction. Jose. Alexandra, Iowa State Patrol knows this clip has been viewed or shared thousands of times. They also say it's rare a dash cam ever captures a moment like this, especially out on roads like Interstate 80. And it's because of that clip that they feel they know exactly the moment when they knew this crash was going to happen. Somebody could have been hurt really bad, and I'm, we're fortunate that nobody was. Iowa State Patrol Trooper Scott Miller says he's watched this clip hundreds of times. It's very rare to have a video like that with, with the vehicles coming right at you. On Monday, Miller shows us the moment a white pickup truck heading west on Interstate 80 began barreling towards Trooper Kyle Mass and the truck driver in need of his help. See right there? He's already thrown up a ton of snow here and already left, or excuse me, right of the semi and looks to me on the shoulder and being sucked down into the ditch. In a KETV News Watch 7 exclusive, Michael Adger, whose truck slipped into the ditch, told us he and Trooper Mass had almost no warning. We heard another truck horn blowing and just came after me. By the time I turned around, in a fifth second, it was there. Both Adger and the Trooper walked away, slightly injured and shocked, but alive. I understand what Trooper Mass was doing. He was trying to get the driver out of the ditch and to safety as fast as possible. As winter continues and ISP responds to even more calls for help, Miller wants all drivers to move over and take it slow in dangerous conditions. Take it easy, and if conditions are so bad, maybe it's better to wait. And Alexandra, we've also learned tonight the driver of the white pickup that did crash into the ditch and slam into Adger's car was cited by Iowa State Patrol for failure to maintain control, and that is an Iowa law. Trooper Miller also tells us this evening he plans to use that very same dash cam video to train those troopers, anyone else who comes through the system, because they know they will have to get out into situations like this and help drivers in dangerous conditions. Again, reporting live in Council Bluffs, I'm Jose Zosaya for KETV. News Watch 7.